Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is James and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. All right, it is very early in the morning on New Year's Eve. We're getting ready to bring in 2024, a brand new year. And I just wanted to come on here for just a few minutes to share with you what is coming up on this channel, 20th and 21st Movies, for the month of January 2024. It's early in the morning. I just fed my dog Shiloh, getting him started to a nice start to the last day of 2023. So let's come together and share a little bit of what is coming on this channel as we start a brand new year. Let's talk about it. All right, what is coming to 20th and 21st movies in January 2024? I am about to share with you some of the items I have on this wonderful paper. But before I do, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to you. I really do appreciate you uh, just engaging in the content on this channel in whatever form you did in 2023, whether you watched one video, a part of a video, whether you participated on a live stream or two or whatever the case may be. At whatever level you engaged on this channel that you watched any of the content here, I just have to say I humbly, humbly appreciate you that you would take any time out of your life to enjoy content on this channel means a lot to me. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you, because you are the reason that this is even worth it. Just having the opportunity to share you know, my passion of film and cinema with other people who share that interest. And I just love hearing your comments. I love hearing what you think about different films. And I've learned so much about new filmmakers and new films that I've never even heard about. And they're new to me because I'm getting to explore these directors and films for the first time. And that's thanks to you. So I wanna say thank you right off the top for just engaging in this community. And I'm looking forward to more of it in 2024. I've been on YouTube now for just over three years. It's been a fun ride so far, and I'm looking forward to carrying that in to 2024. So speaking of that, had to do a little page pop there. I uh, stole that from somebody who I will not say, but it's a fun thing. Pop that page there, you know? So January, 2024, what is coming up on this channel? Let's talk about it. I am going to bring back the wonderful Taste of Directors series that we do on this channel. So every month we turn the spotlight on a specific director. We'll talk about three or four films from that director's filmography and just share a little bit about what that director has contributed to the world of cinema. We typically don't do a, a Taste of Directors series entry in the month of December. We focus on other content, but we're bringing Taste Directors back for the month of January 2024, and I'm looking forward to 11 more entries in 2024, starting with Taste of Sofia Coppola Films in January 2024. So we're going to turn the spotlight on director Sofia Coppola, and I am very much looking forward to that. So be on the lookout for that. That'll be towards the end of the month of January. So that's coming up. And then, of course, we're going to cover Criterion and, you know, Criterion Collection and Arrow Video they will be announcing or likely to announce their April 2024 lineup of titles that they're going to release in the month of April. So we've already gotten the announcements from Criterion and Arrow on their releases for January, February, and March of 2024. And I expect around the middle of the month, we should be getting some information from Criterion on what they plan to release in April. And toward the end, maybe a week or so later, Arrow video will likely give us their April lineup. Now, as it turned out, with this past month in December, we got Arrow Video and Criterion Collection announcements on the same day, on December the 15th, which was really cool. We did a live stream on this channel. Check out the link. I'll put a link to that live stream in this video where I talked about and reacted to Criterion Collection and Arrow Video March 2024 titles. But in January, we should hear about what they're going to release in April, so we'll cover that. Then I plan to cover a couple of Criterion Collection releases on physical media on 4K Ultra HD that are coming out in January. One being an upgrade of one of my absolute favorite editions in the collection, 
one of my favorite Coen Brothers films. I would say probably my number two Coen Brothers film, and that is Blood Simple. It's getting an upgrade to 4K from the Criterion Collection, and I plan to do a review on this channel early in the month of January, so be on the lookout for that. And then later in the month, I'll, I'll come on here and share my thoughts on a title that I have not seen yet, but I'll be seeing it for the first time on Criterion Collection 4K, and that is the John Sayles film, Lone Star. So be on the lookout for that. I'm looking forward to doing a review of Blood Simple on 4K and Lone Star on 4K. So those are some exciting titles I'm looking forward to. And we'll see what other releases I do reviews for in the month of January. So be on the lookout for that as we get into the new year. And then, of course, folks, I am super excited to talk about this upcoming TV series coming up on HBO. I plan to follow it. I think I'm going to do three three videos on this particular series. It's True Detective Season 4, True Detective Night Country, starring Jodie Foster and Callie Reese. So this is where Jodie Foster is a detective. She's in Alaska during the night country, which is the period where there's hardly any sun light during the day in Alaska is pretty much nighttime all the time throughout the day. And she's investigating some disappearances of some people who work at an art at a Alaskan station or something. So I don't know much about it other than it's true detective. Jodie Foster, to de Jodie Foster and Callie Rees are the detectives, and I am looking forward to it. It is the fourth season of this ongoing crime anthology series. It's been on HBO for a number of years, and I am looking forward to it. I have the first three seasons on Blu-ray. Yeah, they're all Blu-ray, right? Yeah, all on Blu-ray, starting with this one, the first season, which is the best so far with Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. Season two wasn't as good, but it's, it's okay. And then season three was a nice bounce back with Mahershala Ali. But now we're getting season four, True Detective Night Country, debuting on HBO on, Ju on January the 14th. So I plan to do sort of a first impressions uh, video on that. So be on the lookout for that around the middle of January. And then as the series progresses, I may do a mid-season report, maybe in early February, and then do sort of a, a season wrap-up, a season review when it wraps. I think it's six or seven episodes. So be on the lookout for my first coverage of True Detective season four. And then, you know, I'll probably start my series of Criterion channel comings and goings where I'll talk about what's coming to the channel and what's leaving the channel as I start my coverage on Criterion channel topics. So be on the lookout for that. I just got a Criterion channel subscription recently and plan to dive heavily into that platform. I've heard great things about it and sort of getting more into the world of Criterion beyond their physical media catalog. So be on the lookout for that. And I look forward to hearing your thoughts and your comments on that. But yeah, that's what I have planned for the month of January. There will be some more things sprinkled in there as, as time progresses, but just wanted to give you an idea of what is coming up or plan to come up on this channel, 20th and 21st movies for the month of January, 2024. Wanna to say to you, happy new year. Happy, happy new year. Hope you've had a blessed 2023. My 2023 has been blessed. It's had its ups and downs and challenges along the way. There are things we're still working through, but we're just moving forward by the grace of God. And I am very, very happy about that. But I'm looking forward to 2024. Hope you wrap up 2023 in style. Do it safely. Be safe out there. Have a great New Year's Eve and a great start to your new year. We'll look forward to seeing you in the new year. And we'll see you next time at the movies. Peace.